Hello everyone, welcome to Innovative English Learning with Rashid Khan. You can also watch this video in Urdu from the playlist. Today we are going to talk about other punctuation marks, uh, colon and semicolon. So in this video we'll talk about the different uses of colon and semicolon. Let's see where can we use colon and semicolon. Colon. The colon is a mark of introduction that alerts readers to the close connection between the preceding statement and what follows. So remember, the basic function of a colon is that it introduces something in written form and it alerts the reader that something is coming or something is being introduced. Now, colon in sentences, a colon links independent clauses to words, phrases, clauses or lists that identify rename, explain, emphasize, amplify or illustrate the sentence that precedes the colon. Remember that a colon introduces an independent clause that gives us explanation or identification or emphasis or illustration about the preceding or the sentence or clause before that independent clause. Remember we use a sentence or a clause and then we bring more explanation about that clause or phrase or a sentence so we bring a colon in order to give uh, a connection between the preceding and the succeeding clause so that is how we use colon to introduce new information or kind of explanation for the preceding sentence or clause for example two topics will be discussed now this is the main uh, preceding uh, clause now what are those topics so we bring a colon and then we bring explanation tense and punctuation marks only one thing will satisfy the boss so that is the preceding clause then colon what are those uh, what is the thing that will satisfy the boss our finished report so this phrase gives us explanation about the previous clause a colon follows the salutation, uh, salutation and business letters even when the salutation refers to a person by first name. Remember, uh, in official letters or even personal letters, before the body of letter we bring greetings like dear sir, respected sir or something like that. So in British English we use a comma after salutation while in American English we put a colon like dear professor Sajad colon or dear Georgia colon. In British English, we put a comma instead of colon. Colon separate numbers in time references and indicate numerical ratios. So we can also use colons in uh, separating numbers in time references like 9.30 a.m. So here we are using a colon. Unnecessary colons. Sometimes we use colons unnecessarily. So there are some situations where we are not supposed to put colons. The first one is do not uh, place a colon between a verb and its object. Remember sometimes a verb is followed by its object. So we are not supposed to put a colon in order to separate the verb from its object. Like the three major cities of Pakistan are Islamabad, Lahore and Karachi. Here we do not need to put a colon. So we uh, if, if we use uh, colon, we'll separate the verb R from the object Islamabad, Lahore and Karachi, which are following the verb. So here using a colon is incorrect. Likewise, do not use a colon between a preposition and its object. A preposition is also followed by its object. Therefore, we are not supposed to put a colon between a preposition and its object. I may be transferred to Islamabad. Karachi or Lahore. Now two is a preposition and Islamabad, Karachi, Lahore they are the objects of two so we are not supposed to separate the preposition from its object. Okay so here using a colon is incorrect. Do not insert a colon after including such as or for example to introduce a simple list. When we use these words like including such as or for example to introduce simple lists we are not supposed to put a colon after them like office computer should not be used for activities such as personal email, web surfing, internet shopping and playing computer games. Here after such as uh, putting a colon after such as is incorrect. We are not supposed to put a colon after such as including or for example. Okay, so these are some of the uh, unnecessary uh, use of colons. 
Next we have semicolon. The semicolon, this is the symbol, links independent clauses or other sentence elements of equal weight and grammatical rank when they are not joined by a comma or a conjunction. Remember, normally we put a comma or a conjunction to join two equal things like two independent clauses or two words etc. But sometimes we put a semicolon to link certain independent clauses or sentences, a sentence element of equal weight. Equal weight means they are equal in uh, grammatical category okay for example uh, there is another thing the semicolon indicates a greater pause between clauses then does a comma but not as great a, uh, a pause as a period remember the pause that we bring with the help of a semicolon is greater than the pause that we bring with a comma but the uh, pause is lesser than the pause that is brought with the help of period so it is in between a comma and a period now joining two independent clauses how does a semicolon join uh, two independent clauses independent clauses joined by a semicolon should balance or contrast with each other and the relationship between the two statements should be so clear that further explanation is not necessary remember when we have two independent clauses and they are joined with the help of a semicolon they are balanced or they contrast with each other and their relationship is very much clear there is no need of further explanation for those clauses so such clauses are joined with the help of semicolon for example the new website was a success every division reported increased online sales now we have two independent clauses the new website was a success every division reported increased online sales and we joined them with the help of semicolon rather than a comma or a conjunction so here this semicolon works as the conjunction in this sentence note do not use a semicolon between a dependent clause and its main clause but remember if there are two clauses in a sentence and one is dependent one is independent we are not supposed to use semicolon so semicolon is only permissible between two independent clauses that should be remembered a semicolon should also be used before conjunctive adverbs like therefore moreover consequently furthermore indeed in fact however that connect independent clauses so when we use these words uh, in order to connect two independent clauses we also put a semicolon before these words for example the test results are not complete therefore i cannot make a recommendation now we have two clauses the test results are not complete i cannot make a recommendation and we join these two clauses with the help of therefore that is why before this conjunctive adverb we put a semicolon a semicolon may also be used if any items in a series contain commas so when we have commas in a series so before those um, elements we put uh, semicolon for example among those present were joe biden president of the united states then semicolon narinder modi prime minister of india again semicolon and imran khan prime minister of pakistan okay so that is how we put uh, semicolons in such situations as well note the semicolon always appears outside closing quotation marks if there are quotation marks so we have to put the semicolon after or out of the outside of the uh, quotation marks for example the attorney said you must be accurate then semicolon so you can see the semicolon appears uh, outside the quotation mark her client replied i will okay so we have to put the semicolon outside the quotation marks uh, thank you for watching innovative english learning hope you would have learned many things about the uses of colon and semicolon in this video for more such videos keep watching innovative english learning and do share it with your friends thank you take care of yourselves